What's up guys, uh, Brett here today and I'm going to show you guys how to put in the buttons and the d-pad for your Mad Mods controller. So if you have ordered your stuff online you'll get it in a little package in a little, oh, I don't know, plastic zip off, zip lock bag. But uh, as you can see all the buttons are right here as well as the, ooh, what are these things, uh, the bumpers or right triggers or bumpers sorry and then your d-pad is right there. And as you can see here, the D-pad's not hard to put back in, but a little confusing sometimes. So that little, little rubber thing has to go on a little rubber thing right there as well. I'm, going to, I'm not sure if you can see it 100%, but right there. And that rubber pad is going to go right there. And that's that's one of the things, very important if you want your D-pad to work. Um, you got to put that on tightly. I can't do it with one hand because I'm holding the camera. But... Uh, all right, let's look at the pieces here. So the pieces aren't too hard to take apart. I'm just going to put this down for one second. And you want to pop this off. It's not too hard to pop off, but I have uh, I was I was screwing it in not properly and I kind of bent it a little bit, so it's a little broken. So I wasn't too happy taking it apart again. But uh, here are the buttons or for the controller and what you want to do is just, you know, throw it into your hands. It should all land there. And then there you go. There's all there's all your pieces. Very simple, very easy. And as well, the bottom piece, the attachments, is right there. And there you go. That's that's how to take everything apart. But now, oh, there's one more thing. Ah, this is always the worst. Uh, don't forget this piece for the, the Xbox button. That's, that's important, I guess. Um, so now you have all your pieces, and the D-pad. Uh, not the easiest to take apart. You need two small little objects and inside of the d-pad, maybe I'll do a tutorial, but I, I dropped the thing. Um, maybe I'll do a tutorial sometime, but it's, it's very, very easy. You just like stick a pencil in there or something and just push those two points in and then pull it out. So not too hard, but I gotta go find this. There it is. Oh. Ah, this piece. And I, ho I hope the lighting's okay. It's getting dark outside, so the natural light isn't as potent. But uh, yeah, to put the pieces back in, very easy, very simple as well. Um, usually I can look at this and see if it's a Y or X button, but no, I cannot because it's all black. So you pretty much have to play a little puzzle game and fit the pieces in. They only go in one way, so that's going to show you that you can't really screw it up. And there, there's the first one. They just go and drop in gently. There's a few of them that you can kind of see. They only go in one way, like I've said, so it's you can't you can't really screw it up. Uh, but they do have to fall to the ground, so make sure they do that, or not to the ground, but into the socket, and like that. And of course, the Xbox button. If you have LEDs, these look so much better. Um, but uh, in this controller, I do not have LEDs, but most of my controllers I do. And just so you guys know, I do not personally own Mad Mods. I just work for them. So if anything represents me that is unfantastic, then don't blame them because I'm just I'm just figuring this out for myself. Ugh, did I put this in correctly? Now, oh, there we go. So just make sure the all the buttons fit. They'll be nice and snug. And then I'm just gonna put in one more thing here. I'm gonna put in the start button, and I don't know. It feels like they'd fit in both ways. So just be careful and check if the start button is in the right place. Yep, I've never got it wrong. I don't know how that works out. But uh, yep, as you can see now, you just want to make sure this everything is pushed in tight, especially this one. This one likes to pop out sometimes. And then uh, you want to put this little plastic pad on. It only goes in one way as well, so you can't really screw that up. And then make sure you've got your D-pad. Put that on right there, snug. Very, very easy to put on as well. And that'll that'll make sure you can press the buttons, of course, and then as well as the bottom bumper. I I wouldn't really know what to call this thing. It'll just pop into place. Uh, just line it up. Make sure it's the right right way around, and it should just pop right in. Uh, hang on. As I say, as I'm saying, it's nice and easy. I can't simply put it in. Oh, that's what she said. Boy, oh boy. See something like that? That's unprofessional. My apologies. And there we go. All right, so that's nice and nice and snug in there. And then we're gonna put these this piece in and uh, just make sure it's the right way as well. 
it's going to be going on top. Make sure this is tight still. And just pop that in there. Should be easier than that. I just kind of cracked my piece. And then from here, the difficult part and always the hardest part is putting this back in. And that's just with the joysticks. You know what? Um, so I'll, I'll do a joystick tutorial in just a minute. So I'm going to try to put this back in gently. And this is not the easiest with one hand, I must say. Okay, okay. Make sure the bumpers are all in. Hang on. And I feel bad for putting down the camera, but uh, it's the only angle I can get at the moment. Uh, so there we go. We popped it in. Pretty, pretty easy to pop in. You ought, basically, just put it in. Make sure the uh, vibrators or in are in place, and then make sure every screw hole lines up. And if it's snug in there, all you gotta do is um, all you gotta do is place the shell back on. Pop, push these things in. It should snap down. Then screw in your screws and all the seven holes, and you are good to go. And that, guys, is how to put in your buttons and your Xbox, everything. And I'll do a uh, nice, uh, nice little uh, thumbstick tutorial in just a second. So thanks, guys, for watching. This has been Brett with MadMods.com. Have a good one. Peace.